how to learn coding fast, the fastest way to learn programming. I bet you see a lot of titles like that on YouTube. And despite the programming and coding seem to be the same, they are not. So what's the difference between programming and coding and why it's so important to understand that? I'm Boris, I'm a software engineer from Tel Aviv and I would like to start from the explaining what programming is. Programming is something that describes behavior and conditions. Have you ever heard about Pavlov's dog? If not, you may Google it. To put a long story short, Ivan Pavlov is a Russian physiologist and in the beginning of 20th century he programmed his dog to become hungry when it hears the bell ringing. So getting back from the early researches of 20th century to our modern world, I would say that programming is something that defines the logic. That's why many say that it's important to learn math if you want to become a programmer. Because math really helps to develop a logical thinking. Nowadays in colleges you'll find a class that is called discrete math which is a useful step on your way to become a programmer. Anyway, you may become a good software engineer without a background in a discrete math, so don't worry. But the main reason why math students are hired by the top companies for the software engineer positions is that they are able to find the solutions for a complex engineering problems with their clear logical mind. So programming and not coding skills is something that big tech companies are testing for. And that's why they let you take your coding in interview in any programming language you want. You will even write some pseudocode on a whiteboard even in plain English, because they want to see your logic rather than some specific coding syntax. You may see the same on the famous CS50 course. When you only start the course, you don't really use a real programming language. And closer to the end, it quickly jumps from one programming language to another, focusing on how the logical patterns look in different languages. Okay, hope it looks a bit more clear now, so let's move on to the coding. If you've got already a programming solution of your problem, coding is the implementation of this solution. I'm not talking only about the syntax of some specific programming language. I mean the same logic could be written in a different way, depending on the language itself, as you have already understand, also depending on the experience of a software engineer writing this code, frameworks that are used, and some other factors that have nothing to do with the solution itself. It's more focused on the implementation details, like code quality, breaking things into functions, classes, some best practices, and so on. And the interesting thing that you can swap out different code solutions for the exact the same programming outcome. That's the reason, that's why it's not a problem for an experienced software developer to learn a new programming language relatively fast, or even to jump from one professional field to another. Because once you know how to define the logic pattern, it won't be such a big problem for you to learn a new programming language pretty fast. With many years of my experience, I can definitely say that in every every project, the hardest part is to find the right solution. Nowadays, I am almost always sure that it's not too problem to write the code to implement the solution, but to understand what exactly should be done, this is the toughest question. I'm not even talking that nowadays for finding a right solution, sometimes you even need a proper understanding of a business. And it's even something more than just programming or coding, but it, it's just completely another story. We'll not go there anyway right now. You've probably heard many times that everyone can learn to code, but knowing some specific programming language won't make you a real programmer. So does that mean that you need to focus only on programming and not on coding? In my opinion, no. The faster you can learn to code, master a single language, the sooner you can get beyond just the coding, and you can focus on how to master your programming solutions, as obviously you won't need constantly learning a new syntax. So let's dive deeper to some techniques that that will help you to learn coding faster in my next video. See you there!